In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the warp transition in After Effects. And I have done this tutorial 10 months ago, I think. I think it's around 10 months ago. And uh, yeah, you guys really liked it. And uh, I also got requested to make uh, yeah another warp transition, basically. So uh, uh, here in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one. If you guys don't know me, my name is Pelle Sjöberg. I'm from Sweden. I've been editing for almost 10 years now and I'm running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's really going to elevate your editing and save you a lot of time. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the link in the description. Now let's get into the tutorials. So here we're in After Effects. I have my footage ready of uh, Molly Satana's music video here, uh, Out My Body. And for the uh, transition here, we're going to be making a adjustment layer. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And this uh, whole adjustment layer is going to be 40 frames in width. So I'm going to basically start off by uh, going to the transition point and then go 20 frames to the right, something like that. Cut it and then go 20 frames to the left. And the first effect we're going to be adding is called, of course, warp. <laughs> I'm going to add that. It's going to look something like this in the beginning. Not the best look so far, but we're going to be changing the warp style here. And I'm going to change it from orc to fisheye instead. And you guys will get this kind of look here. You guys can make this super big yeah, fisheye effect or bend it, make it super warped like this. So this is the look we want in the transition. So I'm going to make a keyframe uh, at minus 100 at a transition point. You can press the store key as well to make a marker there. And then you can go to the beginning, set the bend to zero, go to the ending, set it to zero as well. After that, we're going to be opening up the adjustment layer, effects, warp. You're going to be marking the keyframes, then press F9 to EC them. After that, Select one of the keyframes, go to Graph Editor, and here we're going to make a very simple sharp graph. So just drag these two at the top in like this, and at the bottom in as well. So it's going to be very slow and then faster towards the uh, transition point. So it looks something like this so far. Very simple but clean. And we will get this look here. This is not my favorite look. I'm going to be changing the type here from spinning to zoom instead. And here I'm going to go to the transition point. I'm going to set the amount to 100. And then keyframe the amount. It's going to look something like this so far. Go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the ending, set it to zero as well. Then we do the same as we did with the warp keyframes. We mark them, press F9, open graph. And you guys make the same graph here just like that and for the next effect we're going to be adding turbulent displays and here i'm going to be first of all increasing the size 200 and keyframe the amount set it to zero in the beginning 50 at the transition point and then zero in the ending as well same again mark the keyframes f9 graph sharp graph this transition is a little bit repetitive with the settings but uh, I think the result is really gonna be very clean. So after the turbulent displays, we're going to be adding distort chroma. I'm going to start off by changing the blur lens here to 300. And we'll get this crazy look. And I'm going to be uh, keyframing the amount here. So it's going to be one at the transition point, zero in the beginning, then zero in the end as well. Open up the settings, mark the keyframes, F9, then same graph as before, a sh simple sharp graph. And then to uh, make the distort chroma a little bit more interesting, I'm going to be keyframing the rotate warp direction as well. So keyframe it at zero in the beginning, go to the middle, set it to 90, then the ending, set it to 180. And here we can ma mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph, and here the graph is going to look something like this. I'm going to drag this one in, this one in as well. This one in and then this one out like that. So it's essentially the same uh, graphs as we did before. It just has another yeah, look to it basically. So it's basically going to be f the fastest uh, at the transition point. So we get this look so far. And after that we went adding it transform. Keyframe the scale at 100 in the beginning. Go to the transition point 140. Then go to the ending 100. 
same here as we did with every other effect we have added f9 graph the same here it's very as i said before repetitive but combined with all of the effects it's going to give you guys a really really clean look in my opinion this is the look we have for the moment very satisfied with this now to elevate the effect even more i'm going to be adding some flicker to this uh, so i'm going to be making a new adjustment layer controlled y make it the same uh, size as the one we already have i'm gonna go to effects animation presets use presets and i'm going to be using povita's flicker presets pack which is a yeah very good pack if you guys are looking for flicker effects it's going to save you a ton of time instead of struggling for hours trying to make it yourself you can get it in an instant download easy drag and drop i'm going to be using flicker distort free and it's going to give us this kind of look here looks insanely good uh, and the only f touch i want to add is basically to drag this adjustment layer under our warp transition and then we're going to be going to transform go to the uh, transition point keyframe the opacity set it at zero in the beginning zero in the end then you're going to be selecting the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them don't need to touch that anymore and this is going to be the final result of your warp transition here i think it's really really cool added a little bit more of a yeah as you guys can see flickering to the warp transition a little bit more of the distort chroma the yeah, chroma kind of uh, yeah distortion and warpness to it uh really really like it and i uh, hope you yeah liked it as well guys and uh, if you did don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out the yeah, Flickr pieces pack I used in this tutorial. It's going to be a link in the description down below. Also a special discount code as well uh, included. Yeah, don't forget to check out my website as well, editingvisuals.com. Also check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.